back to Mel's Makes. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mel. Hope you guys are all very well. Today, I'm going to be showing you the entry that I'm going to be sending into Monica's 5,000 subscribers giveaway. So, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. If you like today's video, then please do give this video a like, comment, and a subscribe. And let's get into the video. So here is my entry into Monica's 5,000 subscribers giveaway. I think by the time Monica has showed the video and I've actually sent it in, I think it's going to be past the deadline because the deadline was March 10th. But I thought I'd actually show it on video anyway. So what I've done is I've actually just made her a card. So this is a card. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. And I've also um, made this uh, gable box of some of the cards I've actually made for her. So um, as part of the subscribers giveaway, giveaway you had to make something that you liked or you liked actually crafting so it could be like cards tags pocket letters whatever you fancied you can actually send it into her as part of her 5,000 subscribers giveaway so this is what I have made as I really love card making I just decided to make these a2 cards and they actually fit into this a2 gable um, box card holder which I think is really really fun so I'll just put my sticker on the front of it I'll tell you the collection that I've actually used so that's what it looks like I'll show you the die as well and then I'll show you the cards that are actually in the gable box so this is the collection that I have used I'm basically now just going through all my stash now so I'm trying to trying to withhold myself from actually buying new things so I thought I'd actually go through all the bits and pieces that I've actually hoarded over the last 18 months or so even longer to be fair and I've actually found this collection that I've had so this is the simple stories simple vintage indigo garden so this is the six by eight paper pad and also the ephemera that goes with it and I've also just uh, recently um, bought this stamps this die set from the stamp market which is from die star for all the products that I mentioned in the video I'll put in the description box below so if you're interested in buying these products then you can have a look at those links so this is the gable box die so this is by the stat market and this actually will fit into a larger and um, die cutting machine so that's what that looks like i'll actually take it out so this die i think is seven by seven and a half inches and then it comes with all the bits and pieces so you get like a die there it has all the note cards on it so that is what the that is what the um so it looks like and you obviously have to cut out two of these to actually make the box so again this is from the snap market i actually have got a um, big um a big shot plus machine so it's an a4 die cutting machine so that will actually go into the big shot plus quite comfortably so that is the die for the box i'll show you the other dies that you actually get in this beautiful box, I'm actually just going to take it all out. So those are the little flowers that are just stuck in there. So you get these little flowers here that you can actually build up the layers to. And then it also has, if I just take the papers away, I'll just put the papers here behind me. I'll just show you the dies that actually come with it. So you get this note die, which is really, really large. And then you also get this one that says cards on there. So you can just put the word note cards. So that kind of slots there at the bottom. Obviously, you can check them however way that you want to when you die cut them out. Also has this tag here, quite a long tag. And then you also have the um, leaves here as well. So I'll just see if I can actually pick them up without trying to slide them off the mat. But this dice set is really, really adorable. So again, you get all the leaves here and you get the little centers as well. Which I think are fab so that's the um, leaves and some of the flowers that you get with the set it's really really gorgeous again I'll leave the links for this die set in the description box below so that's the die set with the flowers there as well and I'll show you the collection that I've used so again this is the um, this is the um, simple vintage indigo garden set I really really like so this has the ephemera pieces so those are the flowers really really gorgeous love the mix of some of the kind of red coral color some of the yellow some of the dark colors like some of the purple the dark blue some of the blacks as well which are really really beautiful again a mix of some of the whites as well and some of the lighter pinks as well which i think is gorgeous 
So that is the floral um, die cut. We then have this one, which is the, I think these are the bits and pieces. So that's what they look like. And that's what that looks like on the other side. So you've got a lovely set of sentiments. Um, so you get like good times, you get good. Um, we've got bloom. Got a lovely um, set of some of the butterflies, some of the floral, some of the tags as well. Some of the sentiments here as well, just for decoration. And actually just embellishing your cards. So that is the die cut from Red, the bits and pieces. And this is the paper pad. So again, it's got the mix of the purples, dark blues, some of the um, pinks, the yellows, some of the whites as well. And I love some of these gorgeous darker pinks as well especially on the flowers, some on the wreath here as well. It's a really gorgeous collection. I really love the fact that it actually has a little bit more purple in it. So you've got some of the, um, you get some of the 3 by 4 cut apart, which are really, really nice. So these say, you feel my heart. It says, grateful. And this one says, born to try. So there's quite a few papers in this collection. So you've got some of the florals. I've just saved some of the bits and pieces if I want to make um, cards that have got scraps on them. So you've got this one here. So you've got some lovely patterns. You've got some of the darker colours here. You've got some of the butterflies. Again, it's just a really gorgeous collection. I really love the yellows as well. Because yellow is not really a colour that you get a lot of. So you've got lots of the whites, lots of the pinks, and lots of the blues, lots of the violets, lots of the purples, lots of the lighter pinks and some of the blacks as well, which I think is a really gorgeous set. So that is that collection. Again, what I'll do is I'll leave the links uh, to this paper pad and the embellishments, if I can find them online, in the description box below. So... I have basically made the card for Monica, so I'll just put this in the envelope because what I've done is I've made some A2 cards and I don't really have papers that kind of match the collection because I didn't get the 12 by 12 collection. So again, I'll just put my sticker here on the back. And this is a card that I've made Monica. I haven't obviously written inside it yet, but I'll do that when I send it off to her. So that is the front of the card. So I'll just put it in this kind of... Uh, yellow pinky envelope to try and match the tone of the um, collection because it's got a mix of the pinks the yellows the lighter pinks some of the purples blacks and then some of the white colors so just use this envelope and then the cards are here in this little gable box so this says bloom where you are planted i really love the front of this um, sentiment that you get in the paper pad by simple stories so i've just done it with a, a darker background that had some of the yellow like flowers some of the butterflies on there as well so i just put them on top so i've just put them sorry i've just put them underneath um, the sentiment paper beautiful and then this is what it looks like on the back so i love some of these um gorgeous kind of dark blue florals some of the pink florals as well and some of the butterflies really really gorgeous so inside the go box i'm just going to push this not deep but i'm just going to push it so i can actually take the little flaps here so these are the flaps on the side that actually hold the box together so again that's how you dismantle it and then you can actually put your cards on the inside there so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take these out so these cards will probably fit between three maybe four a push um cards so again because i don't really have any matching papers for the envelopes i've just made these out of some i think i made them out of some stamping up paper so these are the cards that i've made i've just paired them up with the envelopes so these are the envelopes that i've made for them again trying to get some of the matching tones in there some of the pinks the yellows which i really really love so this one says celebrate today it has a gorgeous butterfly here in the corner and then i've just added some of these gems as well these gems are from rosie's studio really really gorgeous so that is the first card that i've made i've made them into the a2 size because that is the recommended size for the gable um, for the gable box so you can actually fit a2 size i would probably say it's a us a2 size i'll put the measurements in the left hand corner but it would definitely fit cards that are 
more smaller than that size so a2 is four and a quarter by five and a half so anything that is lower than that size you can definitely fit into that um, into that gable box um, including the envelopes so that is the front of the second card it says you bloom with grace gorgeous blues love some of the gems the darker blue gems here as well they have a little bit of shimmer you guys can actually catch those in the light it has the lovely blue butterflies here again just a simple set of cards that monica can use so just paired it up with this kind of like it might be coming up a bit yellow on the camera but it's actually like a coral coral pink color lovely and then the last card that i've actually done is this one it says live life in full bloom there's this gorgeous pink butterfly in the corner here i've just laid it on top of some of the gingham patterns some of the um, floors here and then i've put this dark sentiment on the front as well and i've just added the pink gems in the corner too gorgeous butterfly and i really really like this collection and i just paired it up with a envelope that i have made so this is um a bit of the purple with some of the black as well which i thought went really really well together so those are the cards that i've made as part of my entry into monica's 5k subscribers challenge with the lovely um gable box as well so i hope you guys have enjoyed that video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video of me showing the entry that i'm going to be sending in to monica's 5k subscribers giveaway i'll leave monica's youtube link in the box below i'll also um link her instagram and also her facebook page as well so please do go and check out those links in the description box below hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you like this video then please do give this video a like comment and a subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video